Welcome to Mr. B. Bob. The Seven Dials Mystery is a work of detective fiction by Agatha Christie, first published in the UK by William Collins and Sons on January 24, 1929, and in the US by Dodd Mead and Company later in the same year. In this novel, Christie brings back the characters from an earlier novel, The Secret of Chimneys. Here are some interesting facts and trivia about the novel. This is only the second novel that Agatha Christie wrote after her divorce from her first husband Archie, and in her autobiography she said that she was gaining confidence over her writing and felt that she would have no difficulty in producing a book every year, and possibly a few short stories as well. She found light-hearted thriller-type novels easy to write, as they didn't require too much plotting or planning, compared to say her previous book, The Mystery of the Blue Train. With The Seven Dials Mystery, Christie looked back to her earliest writing, and revived the popular Lady Bundle Brent and her associates from The Secret of Chimneys. The novel received mostly unfavorable reviews. One reviewer noted a change in style, but felt the novel maintains the author's reputation of ingenuity. Another was quite disappointed in the change in style from some of her earlier novels, saying that she had deserted the methodical procedure of inquiry into a single and circumscribed crime for the romance of universal conspiracy and international rogues. Another felt that the story started out well, but then earned sharp criticism for the author as she has carefully avoided leaving any clues pointing to the real criminal. Worst of all, the solution itself is utterly preposterous, it said. Sir Oswald and Lady Coot host a party at the stately home chimneys, which they have rented for the season. Since Jerry Wade has a bad habit of oversleeping, the other guests play a joke on him by placing eight alarm clocks in his room and timing them to go off at intervals, starting at 6.30 a.m. The next morning, a footman finds Wade dead in his bed, with chloral on his nightstand. One of the eight alarm clocks is missing and was later found in a hedge. The official verdict is misadventure, but Bundle is not so sure, and she and some friends set out to investigate. More people die. And through it all, a persistent clue is seven dials, whatever that is. Their investigations lead them into some queer places and more than once into considerable danger. House Party at Chimneys Sir Oswald Coote Self-made millionaire Renting chimneys for two years Lady Maria Coote Sir Oswald Coote's wife Rupert Bateman Sir Oswald's secretary Was at school with Jimmy Thesiger and called Pongo Jimmy Thesiger, guest at the house party and later at Wyvern Abbey, and man about town, a murderer and thief. Helen, Nancy, and Vera Sox Daventry, guests of the Coots house party at Chimneys. Bill Eversley, guest at the house party, works at the foreign office for George Lomax. Ronnie Devereux, Guest at the house party, later murdered. Gerald Wade. Guest at the house party, later murdered. Residents of Chimneys. Clement Edward Alastair Brent, 9th Marquis of Caterham. Father of Bundle, owner of Chimneys. 
Lady Eileen Bundle Brent. Lord Caterham's daughter and a sometime amateur detective. Treadwell. The butler at Chimneys. McDonald. Head gardener at Chimneys. Alfred. Former footman at Chimneys, now working at Seven Dials Nightclub. John Bauer. Alfred's replacement at Chimneys. House Party at Wyvern Abbey George Lomax Under Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs, host at Wyvern Abbey Sir Stanley Digby Air Minister for the British Government, guest at Wyvern Abbey Terence O'Rourke Guest at the party at Wyvern Abbey Her Eberhard German inventor. Countess Radsky. Guest at Wyvern Abbey. Seven Dials Club. Mr. Moskorovsky. Owner of the Seven Dials Nightclub and a member of the group. Count Andres and Hayward Phelps, members of the Seven Dials Group. Other characters Lorraine Wade, McDonald's stepsister, resides 20 miles from Chimneys. Stevens, Jimmy Thesiger's manservant. Superintendent Battle Police Detective from Scotland Yard The Seven Dials Mystery was adapted by London Weekend Television as a 140-minute television film and aired on March 8, 1981. Adapted by Pat Sandys and directed by Tony Warmby, it starred John Gielgud as the Marquis of Caterham, Harry Andrews as Superintendent Battle, and Cheryl Campbell as Lady Eileen Bundle Brent. James Warwick also starred as Jimmy Thesiger. The production was extremely faithful to the book with no major deviations to the plot or characters. The production was first screened on U.S. television as part of Mobile Showcase in April 1981. Did you know? Unusual for a full-length crime novel, Christie did not write a dedication for this book. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.